It's time for Ryan's Roses. Dear Ryan and Sissini, time for Ryan's Roses. My husband booked an Airbnb in San Clemente. And the only reason I found out is because I saw it pop up on our shared calendar. I didn't say anything because I thought he was surprising me. But then the day came and he didn't mention anything. Conveniently, he was at a bachelor party in San Diego that weekend. I called him a lot that weekend. He rarely answered when he came home. I asked him how the bachelor party was and he had all kinds of lies about how great it was. So she mm-hmm. thinks she's caught him. This is Anne in Westminster. Uh, Anne, good morning and thanks for coming on. So just to stack all the facts up here you think he booked an airbnb and lied that he was at a bachelor party but went to an airbnb with another woman yeah i thought we have like a shared calendar that i can see online and i can see the airbnb so do you think he went there and did not was the bachelor party made up or he skipped a real bachelor party i'm not sure and so i let him go and now I'm wondering if that was real. I don't know. Mm-hmm. He only came home and he was saying everything was super fun and it was a good time. Yeah, how do you know he was lying? Know. What what stood out to you as a lie about the bachelor party? Mm, well, he wasn't answering any of my phone calls. Like, I called him multiple times. He never picked up. I never saw any pictures on social media. He didn't get tagged in anything. It seems like a, a mysterious weekend. All right, we've got to Anne on the line. She's in Westminster. She thinks her husband booked an Airbnb on a weekend he was supposed to be at a bachelor party and took another woman in San Clemente. Uh, and how long have you been married to your husband? Ten years. So she thinks that he's lying about the bachelor party. And yeah. was there even a bachelor party? Did he skip a real one or was there not one? Yeah. And I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call and then his name on Kiss FM. Go ahead. Yes, you have my permission to call him on Kiss FM. And his name? Okay, we're calling him now. We are going to offer him okay. some roses. We're going to find out who he wants to send them to and what he puts on a card and what the sentiment of that card is. So, and stay very quiet. Stay very quiet. You're going to hear all this. Stay very quiet on the line until we tell him he's on the air, okay? Okay. All right, good luck. Here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Tom? Uh, may I ask who's calling? Hi, Tom. My name is Tammy. I'm calling from Enchanted Blooms. We're actually located on Westminster Boulevard, um, kind of like where the, the In-N-Out is, Caddy Corner from there yeah, a little bit. N- 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 no, thank you. We're, I'm not interested. Well, we're a new flower shop, and the reason I'm calling is because we're doing a promotion to offer local residents free roses. These are free roses you don't have to pay any money for, credit card info, anything like that. We just hope that you refer us to friends and family. They're absolutely free. I don't have to give you a credit card or anything. No, nothing like that. Just the name of the person you want to send the roses to, and they can get them by lunchtime today or any other day that's more convenient for you. And like I said, we just hope that you refer us to friends and family. It's a promotion that we do about once a month here. Okay. If if it's what you say it is, then I'm down. Let's do it. Okay. What's the name of the person you want to send the roses to? Um, What is... How... Where are you guys? Uh, we're in Westminster. So where? how far do you deliver? We deliver uh, throughout Orange County and even up into L.A. a little bit. Oh. Um, well, then, oh, let me think. See, I've got friends that are in Napa. I would like to send it to, if you could, I don't know if. How far you go? Yeah. Well, you know what I can do is we have some uh, f- uh, other companies that we can associate in Napa, and we can process your order through that, and then they can deliver it. Really? Okay. Great. The name? Uh, the uh, It's a hotel. I think it's called the Silverado. Hold on. Wait. I've got it written down here. Let me look. I just need the name of the person. We can start there. And then we can get the address later. Uh, Okay, the person, it's uh, uh, Julianne and Craig. Oh, Julianne and Craig. Okay. And what would you like to put on the card? Oh, is it just a blank 
card with nothing else on it. Uh, we also have romantic cards. We have cards that say, I'm sorry, thinking of you. Birthdays, anniversaries. Um, just write, uh, like, congratulations on your future lifetime of happiness or uh, something. You can make it sound better right. than that, maybe. Okay. And then just write, uh, my name's Tom and my wife's name is Anne. So okay. write, uh, love. write love, Tom and Anne. Love, Tom and Anne. Okay. How long does it take to do this? Um, I, that would be awesome if they do they deliver like immediately can we do it today yes we can absolutely do it today i'll even i'll i'll oh pay you guys no. uh, if you if you can get it to them today tom oh no tom it's ryan seacrest hi your voice is being broadcast on the radio and i have your wife ann on the line thank you so much for staying on the line uh can you tell me uh, oh god annie what are you doing? I, I just I, I want to know who I know you exactly went to. What this is, Ryan? I know who you are. As it, my wife is hilarious. She is well, very. Uh, so can I tell you, Tom? She wrote to me. She thinks that you lied to her about going to a bachelor party. You took an Airbnb house in San Clemente, and you're cheating on her. What can you tell us? What I did go to a bachelor party. Okay. I was in San Diego all weekend. Uh-huh. I talked to her several times. And what about the Airbnb? I, uh, that's for my my friends Craig and Julianne. I don't understand who. I don't understand. Can you explain? Julianne. Okay. Oh, good. I cannot believe this. And you guys, now you're not even going to send flowers to them, so that makes it even worse. But uh, well, okay, you're... Julianne and I dated like. 18 years ago, and I know exactly how long ago it was because we still, to this day, have a cat that is our cat that we got as a kitten when we were dating, okay? So we dated for maybe a year or two. We broke up. Everything was, uh, it was like a handshake breakup. We were both just like, do you want to just break up? We're better as friends. And so we just started being friends. And this is way before... Uh, Annie and I got together before we even met. We're just, we're still friends. I, her dad owns the company that I work for. I mean, of course I'm still going to talk to her. So you got uh, them an Airbnb while you were at a bachelor party? I got them an Airbnb because he said that they were going on a, on a little vacation weekend there and that he was going to get an Airbnb. And I said, let me do it. I'll take the points for it. And then you can just pay me back for it. I like so it was. I I don't see the issue. And what is going on? I still feel like there was tons of times where I was phoning you and you were not picking up. And, and this ex, I, I know, I know that we were never... drinking, we were having a good time. But why not tell your wife about this whole thing that you did for your friends? Yeah, why because wouldn't you just tell that, me? Well, I didn't. I didn't know that she would call the radio and make me look like an idiot in front of the whole world, but. Uh, no, because I every single time I bring up Julianne doing anything, then she's always like, oh, God, like, I can't believe we're still talking to her. It's just it's not worth the, the argument. We had we had the same argument about the uh, I got her like a, a baby warming gift. What are the like right, a Tom, push present? Hey, Tom, you know? Tom, I just, honestly, Tom, I got a lot to do. So I just want to know, <laughs> Anne, do you believe him? Do you think he's cheating? Because I don't know what the hell is going on here. I think that what of bothers me I'm the most cheating. is cheating. I don't think I he's cheating. Like- I, I think there's weirdness about this 18 year old handshake. And but that. in the I cat. think she's still in love with you. Right, well, I that's think not she's our, still in love with you. Well, we're not here to decipher that. Mm-hmm. We're here to try and help you find out if he's cheating or not. I'm going to say no. Yeah, I don't think he has either, but I would love it if he would just cut off this relationship with Julianne. Tom, maybe take that into consideration. <laughs> okay, I'll just quit working at the job that Tom, I Tom, no need for sarcasm. Here. Sarcasm is not welcome right now. I mean, I mean, we're trying to make to some do? progress. I, I, I don't. I, I don't want you to do still, anything. I just am she trying. She still hangs out with with people that she knew before I know, we but, got together. Okay. Well, nanny, nanny, boo, boo. 
Listen, we can. W- w- her and I will talk about this. But yes, yes. No, good idea. Not, good idea. I'm officially not cheating. Well, then our job okay. is done. All right. Well, Tom, okay. good luck, and thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us. And there's no flowers. That's right. <laughs> there's no flowers. That's Tom. right. And Anne, thank you very much for reaching out.